Um, Stephanos, how did you reset after that first set? Um, I was serving well. Stupid break in the f um, what was it? Second game of the match, straight away. I missed the volley. Uh, shouldn't have missed. I don't know why it got in my head so much over the net. Played it out. Just a felt a bit short. You know. Um, yeah, just a stupid break in the first set and couldn't find the momentum to break back. And did did happen eventually in the second set. Same with the third. I I felt like I was serving better, and uh, I think that affected my psychology and the way I was thinking on the court that I'll be able to get a break at some point of the match, and um, uh, keeping that consistency on my serve and uh, making him guess and uh, mixing the serve a lot, not giving him much of a same um, same angle to play with. Uh, because obviously he returns really well, and that's one of his biggest weapons on the tour. So, um, yeah, that's it. Where where does this rank in terms of your career? Is it the best victory you've ever had? It's the best comeback that I've ever had, probably. Um, also, said, I would say that also Federer's comeback at the Australian Open wasn't easy. I lost the first set against one of the best athletes, tennis players in the world and managed to win three consecutive sets after that. Same today but with less sets, two sets, which was quite difficult for me to pull out and um, it was a very difficult victory um, mentally to... I wasn't really thinking that long term that I have to win two sets, it just ha it went step by step, it happened. I, I broke him, I won the set. I stayed there, broke him again, and eventually I got the win at the end, which, yeah, I wasn't really thinking too much of, of the future. And I think that helped a lot. Uh, Stefanos, you seem to be uh, in conversation with yourself, right, you know, during a match, talking to yourself. What's going on in your head through, you know, when you're up and when you're down and if you can nice haircut by the way <laughs> um, was I talking to myself <laughs> I was talking to my dad no it was a moment really <laughs> uh I guess uh, the only thing I can think of right now is he hit some insane shots, completely like unbelievable, which I had no chance of getting back. He hit a couple of lines, some good defenses, and I was just saying to myself, how is that even possible? Like, that's just incredible to to be this close from from the lines and uh that's probably the only thing that I was I was talking to myself I think laughing sometimes relaxes me A lot of younger players are always intimidated by the big names. It, you've had success against all three of the biggest names in the game. What is it do you feel in your personality that allows you not to feel that intimidation? Um, well, yeah. I always dreamt of beating those players and I see each, each match uh, when I go out in the court as an opportunity to to bring the best out of me and it's a very big boost. Um, I honestly feel like they're more threatened than I am and I think also that gives me kind of like a more relaxed me out in the court. So I know I just have to play the level, the difference of the level that of the rest of the opponents that I'm playing and competing against isn't that big. I know I just have to hang in there and 
be able to I, I think be more aggressive because once you get aggressive and they see that you're really going for it I might even say they get scared so that's a good way approach to take it um, the fact that I also had uh, I think pra plenty of practice sessions with Novak in the past in the place that we both uh, reside in Monte Carlo we played plenty of times with each other and um, getting that feeling of how he constructs his points, the, pat the patterns that he uses, same with Rogers, same with Rafa. Rafa I didn't have the opportunity to practice this much with, so I, I, th I, I think that also helps a lot um, going out on the court knowing that I, I've played hit with him a couple of times and um, the lack of surprise, I mean, it's less. No, sorry. Yeah, it's it's just it's better in your head. Things are better in your head. Also, can you uh, win or lose today? You made it into your first year-end final. Just address how uh, important that is, or special. Well, it's great. Um, I was a bit surprised when the um, when the journalist told me that I qualified. I uh, I didn't think of it uh, when I came out of the court, and uh, it was a good little surprise made me feel even better and um, it's great it's sweet <laughs> it's um, it's something that I've been trying to get uh, and it was in the in my bucket list um, from the beginning of the year so I'm I'm glad I've secured my spot in in the NITO finals and um, I feel it's going to be a great show and a great ask me um, sorry <laughs> a great atmosphere for all of us uh, for all the players that will will be competing in that uh, special celebration, special special event taking place in London. Um, your next opponent is Daniel Medvedev. How does a big win like today help your confidence when you go in against someone you've never beaten before? Well, I would say that I'm more relaxed um, nowadays than ever. Um, you know, if I'm just gonna have to play well, um, he has a very different tennis from most of the players that I've been uh, playing against this year. Um, he's a very mental player, I would I would say. So this win over Novak is a boost. It, it does help. Um, it makes me feel good about my tennis, about my game, and. Um, Tomorrow is going to be a new challenge for me. I hope I feel well. I hope I. Um, it's going to be a fresh, new Stefanos out on the court, uh, showing his best, best tennis and playing smart and uh, making him uh, play out of his comfort zone. Two more questions. One there. Hi, Stefano. Uh, you made a video about Shanghai last year, which is very interesting. And I want to know, how's your city explore going on this year? Which part of Shanghai makes you feel special? Thank you. Wow, I, I really liked... We went to a restaurant which had a really nice view of the, of the tower and very, the very center of the city. And uh, I really liked the location and the food that we have that had there, I didn't have much time to explore other places in Shanghai. As it is, I don't know, it's, I don't have anyone to show me where to go, so. <laughs> um, I also experienced something I, I never experienced before, which was me uh, stuffed in a metro with uh, thousands of people, um, which was like, yeah, insane, because there were just so many people in a tiny little space trying to to get in some of them yeah it was you, you just you just see things you never see before <laughs> and it's quite unusual what else did i see i mean i had uh, i took some really nice pictures and videos that's it that makes me happy already <laughs> Uh, Stefano, you, your popularity level is uh, raising rapidly in China, and I have to tell you, uh, fans here love your mom. 
because of my mom. I know yeah, she told me yesterday. Yeah, from Beijing to Shanghai, your mom gave fans uh, chocolate, water, Fantastic. tickets, tower, even VIP tickets. Did did she do everywhere or just in China? Everywhere. Everywhere. She she's like this. Uh, you you joke I, about I, this. I I tell her sometimes when I'm relaxed. I mean, you don't have to do this much. I mean, obviously, people appreciate it and love it, but. Uh, sometimes I feel like uh, I, I don't know. I'm in, I'm in the locker room, and she just brings me bowls to sign from people outside. <laughs> I'm like, okay, they take it easy. <laughs> um, no, she she's very helpful and makes people feel nice uh, of who they are. She's a provider, um, and people love her. Yeah, she she did she did tell me this morning that uh, people were. Fonini was passing. I think she, he just finished the practice or something, and she, he was she was walking towards my practice, and everybody was screaming her name. And <laughs> Fabio was like, well, "What is happening here? <laughs> Why is everybody screaming, Mom, Mom, Mom?" <laughs> that was funny. Uh, well, I guess yeah, it's it is what it is, <laughs> and I'm really happy f for her, and uh, I'm really happy that she makes people happy.